my name is Reese and I come from the UK. I've been given unprecedented access to go deep into China's Shanxi province, seeing people, places and businesses that are usually off limits. I hope you'll join me to see and understand something new. I'm now in Youyu County, which is in the northwest of China's Shanxi province. This place has an interesting and unique ecological environment. In fact, people even call it Little Scandinavia. It may be hard to believe that actually around 70 years ago, the majority of this land was part of the Gobi Desert, covered in sand, with only a very low percentage of the area being green or forested. In fact, many people suggested that the people in this county ought to relocate. But the people in this county are quite hardworking. They've spent many, many hours over many, many years planting all of the trees that you see around me. We met one shepherd, Wang Yu, who is 73 years old, but is still running quite happily up and down those steep hill faces, herding his sheep using traditional methods. I might look like I'm about to go and herd some sheep, but in fact, today, I'm gonna to take you to see sheep herding using a drone instead of people. So, let's go. The people of Youyou County call this planting of trees their green miracle. People will tell you this area is very famous for producing mutton. And there's one enterprise that we can visit here, which is producing this very famous mutton and is doing so using a great many innovative and intelligent technologies to aid in the process. Oh, Liu Jun and Wang Yumei, who are a married couple who live in a nearby village. They used to be employed in coal mines in the area, but in 2012, when this village built this new farm, they came to work here. There are more than 20 people like them from nearby villages who've been given jobs on the farm. What makes this farm particularly interesting is that it's a model enterprise. And what that means is that it gets the chance to try out new technologies and new working methods and processes before other state-owned enterprises. Mm. 
他的爸爸是谁，妈妈是谁，他的祖父谁都可以知道。Electric earpiece onto the sheep's ear. This, as you heard, yields all kinds of data about the sheep, its parents,、um, any health problems it has, its location, all sorts to be accessed at any time. This is obviously really valuable for the sheep's welfare and also for the efficiency of the farm's operation. So I was extremely interested to see that. And again, it was a little bit more complicated and more advanced than perhaps I was expecting when I came here. I mentioned earlier how much of the land around here was at one time desert. Well, obviously nowadays the people here live in a very beautiful green place, as you can see around me, and they're now dependent on this greenery, all this grassland, for their livelihoods. So they still haven't stopped working on maintaining and improving the quality of the grassland around here. We can see new technologies like the advanced sprinkler and irrigation system, as well as other technologies to do with the sheep rearing, which are part of their efforts to improve and maintain this grassland. So it's really good to see how these new technologies can improve the lives of farmers, making their jobs easier and more efficient. And also, of course, as this industry develops, their salary is going to increase as well. So it's going to have a real tangible impact on their lives. Obviously, this green economy is the characteristic economy of Yoyo County. The people here have planted nearly 100 million trees on a plateau that has a surface area of around 2,000 square kilometers. This is, of course, also symbolic of them not only planting the seeds of trees, but also the seeds of wealth and hope, not only for themselves but also for future generations.